Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In this training we will see how to use the unscale function to generate analog outputs. For the previous training session you can check the links in the description box. Before starting today's video I want to request you guys to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me. Let's start today's training session. First you can connect any Siemens CPU with analog outputs to your PC using MPI cable. I am using CPU 314 2DP which has two analog output channels. Let's go the TIA portal and make a project and add CPU 314 from add new device menu. Now if we go to the properties menu for the CPU, this CPU has 5 analog inputs and 2 analog outputs. In IOTag menu we can find out the analog out addresses for these analog outputs which are case R, AQ752 and AQ754. Now if we see the analog output channels we can select voltage or current output functions. Now let's go to the OB1 and write some program to generate analog output. From the conversion menu we will drag and drop the unscale syncrocution on the latter instruction. In is the analog data which we want to scale and write to the analo output channel. We can set high and low limits for this input data. This function can return the errors via ret underscore val output. Out is the analog output channel. Here we will put pqw752. Suppose if we are using S7 1200 PLC then we will write only QW752. All is done now we will load the program in the PLC and go online to see the results. Since we are using channel 5 as analog output 0 to 10 volts, so we will get Analog output voltage across terminal 16 and 20. Let's go the program again. If we modify the input value to 50 we will get 5 volts output. If we modify the input value to 100 we will get 10 volts output. If we modify the input value to 10 we will get 1 volt output. So this how we can use unscale function in TIA portal. Please subscribe to stay connected with me. Till next session goodbye.